So I had a random thought the other day thinking I want to build something in The Sims 2, but personally I wanted to make it more challenging for myself to have a random number generator to decide on how much my budget will be and based on that budget is what I have to use in The Sims 2 and hopefully make a functioning decently looking home in this game and hopefully it doesn't turn out ugly because if it does we gonna be in trouble. Now I just found one on Google and personally I think the best action plan here is to make the minimum like a thousand simoleons and a maximum of 10,000 simoleons because I feel like that's like you know a good budget but now I'm thinking what if I make it 15,000 simoleons because I've learned in the past that um it doesn't work out so great for me but if you want to see my past attempts of like doing this challenge I will link them down below in the description but let's see what we roll and hopefully it's a good number okay not bad 8,317 simoleons I think I'll do okay hopefully. So the first thing we definitely need to do is set our appropriate family funds to the appropriate budget because I honestly believe building in this game can be quite chaotic but also kind of therapeutic at the exact same time. Now I'm going to make it semi-small but also like not too big. So I'm thinking I'm going to go with maybe a seven by five and then make it in a second floor of a four by five, or a five by five so could see could be good because I feel like it would work best in our favor plus it shouldn't use up too much of the budget when it comes to furniture and maybe stairs 40 simoleons excuse me 900 some, maybe the second floor don't work maybe we just do first floor and see how it goes and then maybe if we want to have some expansion we could do that now I'm going to definitely uh, yeah I'm gonna make an expansion expansion Mansion, this seems worth it. We're gonna make it very small and teeny tiny, like a four by three. Seems perfect there. Now for the roofing, since it's free, which is great in my cards, we're gonna make it look square, a seven by five, and then a four by five here. And I already know what wallpaper I do want to use. It's my favorite wallpaper in this game for the outside. We don't want to go too expensive, but I think it'll work. See, if we do the whole wraparound, it's 240 simoleons if we do it that way. But if we go with the more cheaper option, because this one is technically eight simoleons as well. Okay, so we could go with either one if we wanted to. That's six simoleons. Hmm. So we're gonna, we're gonna splurge just a tiny bit, splurge a little teeny tiny bit, and go with the white wrap around the entire thing. Simple, easy, classic white wallpaper. I think we also do need to have some windows because windows are practical. Plus we need some sunlight up in here somehow. Put two windows here. And then we'll put another window near like this bathroom here slash maybe bedroom, maybe a bathroom. We'll see. We'll put one here and then we'll put another one here so it faces out to the outside. And then for the door action, I am going to put this this door here. For the window, I will use this one. I'm going to change the color, which now that I'm thinking, I, mm, let's go back. <laughs> let's go back on our window situation here. Um, we're going to change all those to white before we even place them down. 90 simoleons, excuse me. I about to say, uh, how much am I paying for this again? 90 simoleons, you say? Hmm, sure. And this seems like a big bathroom. And I could probably make it smaller by making it like a smidge, like cutting this side right here in half or like just taking this part out right here because I get part of my money back because I could make this a shower tub combo and then I could put the toilet here and then probably like a sink right here or something like that to make it a, a teeny bit smaller. So I'm thinking using the cheap bed, it's 300 simoleons, but it looks very tacky and I don't like these like the style of it. So maybe we go with the Ikea bed instead change the style of it to make it a little bit better, more decent. We'll go with like maybe this color right here. Yeah, and it's only like $60 more. So I like it, I like it that way. And then for the end table, which is 20 simoleons. Ooh, which one's cheaper? That's no, mm, 70, 10, 10, 20 simoleons is better. We'll go with the white one. Actually, what is it? Mm, no, we'll go with the white one. It matches what we need anyway. There's a likely chance our house will catch on fire, but it's fine, it's totally okay. We'll use this one instead. It's cheaper, it's better, and I think it just kind of works with what we're trying to do anyway. So let's put that there. Ooh, how does that one look? It matches the stove. Why do I low-key kind of like it though? Why do I like it? We'll make it match the stove, which is like greeny, yellowish, mossy color. Yeah, that works. We're going with functionality, not, you know, classy. So the key thing, I definitely want to learn a lot of stuff. And I think a bookcase would be beneficial for us because we can learn cooking, cleaning, mechanical, um, I think long life happiness, physiology, um, 
I think it's like anger management and like something else. I think it's parenting. We don't really need a computer because we can't afford it. We'll go to the library instead. It's 80 simoleons. How much is a chair? 55 simoleons. Can I go cheaper? I probably could. Can I go cheaper? I can't go cheaper than this. It's 55 simoleons actually. No, I can't go cheaper. So we'll just use this one instead. As our entertainment, we read books for a living. We can't write them, but we sure can read them for sure. So let's put an easel in this corner. Oops, on the corner like so. And then since we have that for recreational stuff, we can do painting, sell it. And then we do need a desk of some sort because we got to put our painting somewhere. But also we need somewhere to put our, you know, food and stuff because that can act as our table. So this could be 80 simoleons. I'm going to sell this chair and get my money back. Change the color of it though. It's like a white color. Matches IRKEA furniture over here. And since we are in school and stuff, I think it's possible that we can add in an alarm clock, which is like 30 simoleons and then a fire alarm above our stove. Ooh, shower tub combo is quite extensive. Ooh, no, no, no. Maybe we just get a shower. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 625 simoleons, 425. Maybe we just go with this one. It's it's a shower. You clean yourself the way you clean yourself. You're gonna be good. That's 300 simoleons. Ooh, that could work. I like this, uh, this lovely toilet here, but I'm gonna figure out the best color of my situation here. Maybe we just leave it like that. Maybe that could work. Mm, I don't know. I think that the key thing here is just go cheap as possible. That's five simoleons. That's tile though. We don't need that. No, not in here. Not today. Okay. I do like this green. I like this green the most. I might keep it. It's only 120. Let's keep it. I'm going to change out this bed. Do I get my money back though? It's like, okay, I do. Perfect. Hee hee. Hoo hoo hoo. Okay. So now that we have our bed taken back, let's figure out our bed situation here once more we also forgot that we do need some type of like dresser drawer so we have our clothes and we can change our clothes if we need to what if i put the hmm like what if, here's my thing what if i put the bookcase over here and then i put my clothes over here like right there maybe that could work i kind of like that idea but i like the bookcase near the desk so what we'll do is definitely put our clothes over here here on this side one right here and then one right there i'm gonna change the color to a different one so it looks different i think it would be nice to separate some of the walls it could work or we could separate the bedroom like that you know what i actually kind of like it that way we might just do that yeah we're gonna do it but i also want to replace the half wall we only get eight simoleons. We get 32 simoleons back. That's ridiculous. Okay, go back. What if we do like a wall right here? So we have one of our clothes right there. Or we could, because I want to have a half wall. Maybe, maybe, yeah, we'll do it like that. And then the other parts will be half walls. Yes. Maybe I do add in this small little thing here. What if I add this right here? I add in this chair. I'll change the color though to a different color that doesn't look too crazy we'll put our clothes back to where we had them before over here because what i'm thinking we can have a tv but here's my idea we use this tv that's a hundred that's 750 simoleons but that one's 500 you know what? we just go with the 500 one see we have a 500 simoleon tv and we only have 508 simoleons left that gives us enough money to fill in the rest of the bathroom which would take too much money but also add in some extra landscaping like maybe a tree or two most likely i have an idea for the landscaping I do want to add all these trees, which one is like 280 simoleons. That's like all of our budget. So no, mm, that's 130. It's a small teeny tiny tree. Oh gosh. Okay. Maybe I add in this tree right here, rotate it to put it like right there or right here. No, I guess it can be right here. It seems nice. I have 216 simoleons left. Ooh, ooh. That's like kind of in the house. Move it back. Actually, can I just move the sim? I'm going to move. I'm going to move the sim. The sim, he's in my way. And I don't like it. I don't like when Sims are in my way. They get deleted or moved. I'm going to move you over here. Move this tree. Let's see. Let's move this tree like this. Not kind of into the house, but like kind of kind of near it. So we'll put that there. The inside, I feel like it's like decent enough to with all the stuff that we already have now. And I'm thinking that we could probably do a little bit more on the exterior. I am going to definitely add in the same like flooring right here, but I can't seem to find what I'm looking for personally. Aha, it is this one, but it's 10 simoleons. If I go all the way down, it's 60 simoleons. Ah, ah, I'll work with it. It's fine. We need lights. That's the one thing that's missing. Lights in this home. 
Can we afford that one? 65 simoleons. What's the more reasonable action plan here? Do we even need lights? We do. We really, really do. But if I add this one in, it's 65 simoleons and we add it in, we only have 12 simoleons left. We don't have enough money for the bathroom, but we might, no, we don't. 25 simoleons. What can we sell? That's cheaper. This one, we'll get that one. We'll just take one, that one out. We'll put this light in the bathroom and then, oh, we have 50 simoleons left, which I think there is something in this game that is exactly 50 simoleons, but I don't know what it is. Ooh, what could it be? Posters. Exactly. Posters could work. Ooh, but I do like this thing that's like photo album right here. It does look really nice and I think I might actually add it in. But then this one's 32 simoleons and it does look nicer, a little bit more decoration, some Ikea stuff. So I kind of like that one. 18 simoleons left. What do I got? What you got for me game today? What you got? Please tell me I can afford a plant. I can afford a plant. How much? 10 simoleons. Ooh, cutting it really close. Five simoleons, but it's not even. Ooh, see, I could add this right here and one right here. Evenness. So maybe we do that. We do that. We'll add one here. And we only need like 10, so like two simoleons to actually afford it. So I'm thinking we sell, let's see here. Actually, you know what? Maybe, what if I do this? Actually take this phone, put it on the floor, sell this desk for 80 simoleons, get my lovely thing back, put that there. I'll get the same old desk and then we'll have eight simoleons left again for our budget. And I think that's all I could possibly technically do. Even if I try to like think of something else I could add in, I don't think there's anything else I can add in unless I could probably just sell this. You know, I'm going to sell this tree. We're not done. We're never done with the build. We're going to sell that tree. And then what we're going to do is change this out, add our window back to like I wanted, like I planned. Move this back over here. Move these a little bit closer to the door for nice ambiance. Put the trash can here against the wall. Oh, this is what I wanted. This is what I needed. More decorations on the inside. Ooh, 95 simoleons. What's exactly 100? Oh, these letters. Oh, perfect. You know, university, a U for university. I think that works best. Maybe above is, maybe above the, above the bed was actually more practical that way. It looks awkward, but it does make sense that it's a university housing dorm and I just use up all my budget. So no trees needed. I think this house looks really great. Honestly, at the end of the day, we made it work. We did all the things we need to do. It's functional. It's practical. It just makes it look really, really good and nice for your Sims to like, you know, live the life they want to live it and it's, it's good. But either way, I do hope you all enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below as always of what you thought of this lovely build here. Should I do it again in The Sims 3, maybe The Sims 4? Let me know all your thoughts. But either way, as always, I do hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!